So I have my fabric, three yards, and I'm going to fold. But you make sure where you're going to use is the back and the front. So how do you know the front and the back? The back of the fabric normally has a smoother edge. So I'm going to fold into four. And I'm going to use the side that, pull, that stretches the most. So it stretches more like this. So I have to fold along that line. So I'm going to put on the table. We're going to cut the down part off because as you can see, the style has a cut. So I'm using a size 12 measurement again. And I'm going to fold into four just like that. And I'm leaving this allowance here for the zip. Okay, so we need the half length. The full length of the dress should be 42 plus folding allowance 44. The half length, we're going to do 17. So minus 42, we should get about 25. So we need 25 plus 2 inches allowance, 27 for the skirt part of the dress, for the bottom part. So I'm going to measure 27. Okay, there you have it. So you can get your ruler and you just make a straight line. So that your cutting can be straight. So the waist is going to be 30. We need to do 32 waist. Okay. That's eight. Alright. So from this part, from the waist part to get the hip, I'm going to do eight. So I'm going to do a 43 hip. Alright. Then it's pencil at the bottom. I'm going to do like a 40. That's 10. So now I'm going to connect my dots. Hope you can see that. So I'm going to connect my dots using my ruler or my tape as the case may be. Okay. So this is what I'm doing. You need that to make sure that the lines are straight. All right. So that's the shape of the skirt. So we can go ahead and cut. Not so sharp, so I'm gonna get another scissors. Okay, right now we've cut the skirt part. That's the front, that's the back. So at the back, we're going to be having a dart, but in the front, there's really no need to have a dart, like you can see in the stock. So I'm just going to take off the back, that's the back part of the, the dress, make sure it's even. So I'll take off the back. I've notched where we'll put the dart, that's at four and a half inches. Okay from the zip allowance okay now this is the front that we've cut earlier so we're going to make a mark for the pocket so four and a half inches also from that point where you're supposed to have the dart we'll just make a slant to have the pocket okay it doesn't have to get all the way to the hip part so that's it then I'll come back to the skirt to get the pocket, but for now, I need to get the top. The top is um, it's like, it's supposed to be a princess cut. So I'm checking my fabric again to be sure this is the part that stretches the most. So I'm going to cut the front part. So the half length we said we're going to do was um, 17. But I'm going to cut I'm not going to cut 17. I'm going to cut like 18. So after sewing it can be a 17. Okay. So I'm going to measure 18 inches long. 18 inches. 18 inches. So I'm just going to cut that off. I'll do the same for the back. I have to get, also get the same cut for the back. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that. 
i cenę ci zasi. Ok? So now, I need to cut the shoulder together. There will be some excess we'll cut off. The shoulder is going to be 18 inches, 16. After sewing, it comes to 15. Then I'm going to do 9 inches and make my armhole. Okay. Then the bust for a size 12 is 38. Then the waist is 32. Okay. So that's what we've got there. So I'm going to shift this a little at the back to make allowance for my zip and allowance. That's what you see there. Okay, I'm going to give one and a half inches all the way for the zip allowance. Now, it's supposed to be like a princess cut. So I'm going to do four and a half again. That way. Four and a half. And I just do this. Okay. As you can see, so from here, I'm going to just take off like half inch and come back here, okay, for my princess coat. So I have to do this allowance. Whatever I take out here, the one inch, I need to add here. So plus the half inch for sewing, so I'm going to be leaving like one and a half inches there. And I just take that cut off straight. So what I do now just the cut together okay. and I need to do my neckline it's supposed to be like a four by four or I can do a four and a half by four it's almost like a boat neck okay I can do by four so it's not too low. Then I make a slant of about one inch off the shoulder so the shoulder can be relaxed after sewing. Okay, so I'm now going to cut the back and front together, taking it away about two inches. Then I'll just do the same to the front. There you have it. Then I'm going to slant my shoulder. Okay. So there the shoulder is already slanted. That's done. So and open up the back zip allowance. Then when I do my top, I always like to take one inch off from the side so that the front is longer than the back. It always makes for a better fit. So having done this, the front is longer and the back becomes shorter. I'm going to just cut it straight. And take off the one inch and make the back just straight so you can see that that's straight so don't forget you need to also make allowance for your that so the same part for and a half inch inches will take the that so you just have to notch so you can sew up all the way to like seven inches or seven and a half okay you just sew along that line and remember to get your dart, all you need to do is take about half inch up there, then it narrows as it goes up, just like that. That's your dart. So we can take this aside. Then the front, I'm bringing it back so I can actually open. Okay, I can do this. says that so all we need to do is just to sew and we'll be fine so you'll cut your back your facing 
So we can do that. You can cut the facing already. You just pick the center part because we don't need to get your top, point, uh, top together. I'll just place it there. To cut your facing is really simple. All you need to do is to place the part you want to recreate on top of the fabric you're going to use. And that's what I've just done. And you make sure the edges are exact like I'm doing here and we just cut so I know one is bigger than the other okay I've just done that so just make it wide enough like two inches so that's the facing for the front part Okay, now I'm also going to get the facing for the back. For the parts that we did at the back. But this time around, it has to be wide enough to also accommodate the zip part. Okay, so I'm placing like this. I'm cutting just the same way we did the front, all the way to the shoulder. Then. That's my facing for the back. Okay, so we have the front panel, the back panel, we are facing. So I'm coming back to the skirt we did earlier. I want to cut the pockets because it has a pocket. So you don't, you must cut that too before you start sewing. So we're going to take the front panel and just place again. Okay. Like that, so I'm going to cut like the facing, like we did also for the neck. But this time around, it's going to be a bit long, you see, so that you can actually serve as a functional pocket. Okay, cut that I'm going to cut another one this time around it's going to be straight I won't have to make a slant it has to be straight because that is what will be coming out at the outer part of the pocket okay so I'm just going to use the one I've cut to cut the second part of the pocket okay. following it's really easy just take your time and watch the video several times and you'll be clear as to what is actually going on here okay. so i've done that so this pocket has to be opened up because it's double so one for each side okay. so that's what we have there for our pocket so this is the skirt we're going to take the first one i cut you're just going to sew and turn in it goes in this way while the other one is going to be just out there so after sewing i'm going to shape using the back so that it's equal now we've done the skirt we've done the top now we need to get the sleeve so we still have some fabric remaining all we need to do is to cut like a cap sleeve but it's white it's a white cap sleeve and it has to be double because that is how it came out in the picture like you see there so it's going to be double so we'll do this and do this okay i hope that gives us what we want okay that should be able to give us what we want like it's not a regular cap sleeve this is a bit wider than a regular cap sleeve so I folded into four because it needs to be double. It won't be single, and that's why I have to do this multiple folding. So we're going to cut, like you see, I've already done the drawing 
of the cap sleeve so it goes all out so that way so it's going to cover the whole armhole as opposed to your regular cap sleeve so now i'm going to cut one at a time because it's going to be so um difficult to cut together so i'm taking one off first and i'll take the second out so. There we have it. So that's our cap sleeve. Okay, so this is two. Okay, so that's how it comes out. This is one. Okay, and there's the second. So that's how to cut the shirt, the office dress you just saw. So get your fabric, just two yards, and try it out. And let us, do give us a feedback and tell us how the video has helped you. Feel free to like and comment on my video. And also, you can subscribe so that each time I post a video, you can always get an alert and don't miss out on these very educative videos. Thank you for staying tuned.